Jakeisha Cole, who is the best female rapper out right. Need to run the city, no cap rap. We back again, man. I know it's been a minute, man, but I got a lot of stuff going on in my new situation. I met, man, my my um Ethernet cable been messing up. I can't get it back right, so I've been tripping on live. But anyway, we back with a new video, man. Um, J Cole is the best female rapper out. I said it. J. Cole, the best female rap out. I'm explaining. I'm gonna explain it. He just dropped a new song called Port, Port Antonio. Um, I don't care. Me personally, I don't care. Wrong time, fam. Wrong time, fam. You could have uh, played it safe, left, left well enough alone, but no. You want to Try to reinsert yourself into some shit that ain't had shit to do with you in the first place for real, or that you didn't want to smoke for anyway. So here we go. Here we are. Anyway, this line right here, bro. Let me let me pull this. This way it all started and ended right here. He said, I pulled a plug because I've seen where that was about to go. They wanted blood. They wanted clicks to make their pockets go. They see this fire in my pen and I'm dodging smoke. I wouldn't have lost the battle, dog. I would have lost the bro. You would have lost the battle. That's why you got the fuck up out of that. Makes perfect sense to me. I ain't mad at that shit, bro. But that's some whole shit that you did, bro. Apologizing. Swing first, then apologizing. Egging niggas on the whole while, then apologizing. Begging for the smoke. Begging for it. Greatest rapper alive. I'm, I'm, I'm Muhammad Ali at his prime. I'm, you know, I'm the best. I'm the best. You know, it's big three, but you know, I ain't, I ain't number three. I ain't number two either. Kidding me, my nigga. When you got it though, a headband is something serious, man. I always um relate this shit to Afro Samurai. That number one headband. You ain't got to worry when you got the number one headband. You ain't necessarily got to worry about who got the number three, number four, number five. Because they just got to get the number two head. You see what I'm saying? That's who they going after. Everybody going after the one that's number two. You got to have the number two head, man, in order to even face the number one. You see what I'm saying? And I think that that's what J. Cole uh, made it to that point where he had that number two head, man, almost was there to have the number two head. But then he seen what came with that. He thought about what came with that shit. So, uh, you know, he decided to, you know, get that shit back to Drake. Get back to Drake. Let, let Drake him. I'm out. Is that commendable, maybe? But in this rap shit, it ain't, my nigga. This shit too PC right now, man. Every, everything's soft, man. Once, once the internet popped off and shit for real, man, once the internet popped off and shit and Niggas like academics and shit like that. They, um, you know, you couldn't say that that shit was whack. Everybody was sauce and sensitive. Everybody wanted participation awards. Man, when I grew up, bro, you had to be the best. If you a rapper, you rap. Fuck this, I ain't no rapper shit. When all that type of shit like that started, that's when that shit got soft because niggas was using that shit as excuses to not be the best and not, you know, Step they pen up and miss me with that rap shit and all that type shit. Bitch, you in the rap game. This what rappers do we rap, man. If you too soft and too sensitive to handle this shit, then go go do something else. Go go be an R&B singer, man. That's what most of them niggas is if you listen to that shit. They R&B singers any fucking way. But this the rap game, my nigga. If we, I'm from the masculine era of this shit, my nigga. This shit was blood sport. This was football. This was... You know, rugby, this was that rough shit, my nigga. Niggas like, uh, I, I listen to niggas like, um, who, Guru from Gangsta, 
You know, he didn't make no excuses. He step up to a whack MC like this, tap him in the head with my mic like this. You see what I'm saying? No, what the fuck you mean? This, this about this brutality, bro. This blood sport, man. This masculine shit, bro. Niggas like prodigy, my nigga. Rock in your face, stab your brain with your nose bone. You know what I'm saying, man? Come on, bro. NWA Ice Cube. Face. T.I. 8 Ball MJG. Ghetto Boy. P.A. Tupac. Know what I'm talking about, my nigga, man? This shit got soft, bro. When all these funny, funny clothes wearing niggas came in, that shit got soft because them niggas was looking for excuses, bro. This shit got feminine, bro. And that's how we at this situation right now, man. Then he say some shit about, uh, you know, walked away with all their blood on me. What? They blood on you? Wasn't nobody. If anybody's blood was on you when you walked away, it was Drake blood. And that's why you're on here making excuses for this nigga and begging for forgiveness from him right now. But that was your, your main compadre. He the only one that, besides logic, I think he the only one that you really could relate to in this rap shit. Like, that was going through the, you felt was going through the same shit that you was going through. It was on the same page that was you on in life, you know. But that wasn't the case, cuz. That ain't the case. I'm going to tell y'all what the problem is, see. One of them want to be black and trying his best to be black. And one of them trying his best not to be white. I'm going to leave it right there. Don't let that go over your head, man. I might do a, do, do get go deep into what I mean by that um, on the next video. But yeah, man, um, that's what it is, bro. And now he's trying to come back and finesse the game, finesse us like we slow, talking about, uh, you know, um, I walked away from it. I pulled out. I pulled the plug because I didn't want to see the blood. Man, get the fuck out of here, J. Cole. You pulled the plug because you were scared. That shit you said about Kendrick, man, you meant that shit. And now you're trying to take that shit back, but you can't, bro. You said it. It's, it's out there. You know, the truth always going to come to the light. So now Kendrick ain't fucking with you. Drake ain't fucking with you. Now you in this weird space, my nigga. And now you finally free. Cause yeah, you is finally free because niggas ain't fucking with you no more. You ain't in no big three no more. That's not the question. So yeah, you free, bro. You free than a motherfucking bird. Are you rapping on this song? Hell yeah, you rapping your ass off, bro. You rapping. Technically, you rapping. You showing the skills, you showing the finesse, you showing all that shit. Styles and, you know, uh, real, real lyricism, real the old point of being an MC. But in them top three, big three. Conversations and shit like greatest of all time, man. You out of here, fam. You out. And then this soft ass shit, man. You come back, man, with this shit. Apologizing to this nigga. You the master manipulator, bro. And we ain't buying that shit. You you the one master manipulator. Kendrick was talking about, I think. Trying to trick us with this bullshit, man. We ain't we ain't going for this shit, my nigga. Them were self-inflicted wounds that you walked away with from the battle. Cause you jumped out there. You got that shit and then you got hit by the fans and by all the unexpected places you thought you was going to get hit. You didn't see it coming and it got you. Then you went to cry. Now you're back again crying. Man, these new niggas is hoes, man. It's like, I don't know what's up with this rap shit, bro. All this shit too politically correct, man. This shit too soft. I ain't with that shit. I ain't used to. I'm used to Conway the Machine and you know and uh, Boldy James and shit like that, my nigga. I'm used to Freddie Freddie Gibbs rapping, Paris is rapping. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to real rapper, my nigga. Be a rapper, bro. I'm used to a nigga that ain't got shit, but he the best fucking rapper. And he meant that shit. That's how we worried about when that shit. Everybody started getting things got bougie, bro. All this shit turned bougie, man. All about you know your. Your designer clothes, who got the tightest jeans on and shit like that. Man, fuck that bullshit, my nigga. It's this rap, man. We rap over here. This this a this a masculine sport, man. But if y'all niggas say it ain't, then that J. Cole is the best female rap out right now. You know what I'm saying? Drake is the second best. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. If that's how y'all want this shit to be, bro. So Jakeisha Cole is the best female rapper out right now. 
Fuck you. Fuck you. You cool. I'm out.